talk about how uh, confident you all are because in in terms of the rankings you are the third lowest i think in terms of the teams that are being that are coming to india uh, i think i'm not sure who are lower than india right now but i'm pretty sure there are a couple of them who are uh, let me just check up quickly i know this is yeah there we go so uh i mean this is making for some really interesting podcast but yeah uh, you've got iran you've got philippines and you've got indonesia i think who are lower than india in terms of rankings but like you mentioned it i mean the rankings don't mean much because you've beaten taipei in a friendly who are ranked higher so how much of confidence will that give and despite losing the two games against the swedish clubs i mean quality wise they might be quite high they might be, have more practice and all of that uh, but mitla how confident are you going into the A- afc cup uh, i think i am pretty confident about the way that the team is looking i think that this is first of all one of the best opportunities that they could have landed i think opportunities wise itself it's a huge win uh, another thing is having beaten chinese taipei who are 10 ranks above us uh it only means that the sky is the limit at this point i think the team only needs a little bit more cohesion they need to play together a little bit more uh avoid injuries as much as possible uh because i think that could set back even as even a tiny injury because the player pool that they are looking at is fairly small mm-hmm. uh a major injury to one of the top players or one of the starting 11 players could be a setback uh especially in positions where you know they are used to playing and they are regulars in that position so very important to protect the players at this point so i think that's one thing but apart from that i think uh having the experience of you know facing all these teams will only teach us new things because we've not ha- we don't have anything to compare this to you know we've never played uh, another afc or we've only been to qualifiers so far and second round of qualifiers from not wrong is the highest that we've gone to so because we don't have a scale of comparison i think this tournament should be taken as it is and uh, qualifying to the playoffs mm-hmm. will be a massive step and i think people should give it the credit as it comes if we really do qualify for the playoffs definitely and akshay uh, same question to you uh, you know the two friendlies that i watched against the swedish club losing 3-2 and 1-0 it's, it's not a bad score line we seen that our team can score they they they've been scoring for fun in these friendlies i think the only problem that uh, we need to get better is the defense so n- not being critical but yeah that's that's one area where you know we can improve and uh, you know that, that will really help us uh, perform better in the asian cup other than that i think our attack is quite sorted on what on the basis of what i've seen in the last two games so we we need to you know sort of improve defensively and we we definitely do have a chance to get to the qualifiers qualifying season. awesome and uh, i guess this uh, i who, how many peop- how many teams eventually get this is for the world cup as well right like whoever wins or how many pe- teams qualify for the world cup if you win no, this no i'm i'm not sure the of the format yeah i think two yeah there is a idea of like number of teams from europe america uh, asia etc Correct. Yeah. Okay. So five teams will qualify directly for the World Cup via the knockout stage, and two more. Okay. It's yeah, quite quite complicated. But uh, yeah, <laughs> but it, so you spoke about like the the pool or the squad being smaller, Mithila. So is it like do do you know already right now that whatever's been play the team that's been playing in the friendly that's the team that he's going to go with is like. are you is it like predictable in the in the sense that uh you know who's the starting 11 or you know there are whatever um, yeah no i get what you're saying but i think uh i'm i can't be exactly sure that you know the exact team that's playing these friendlies is going to be the team that's going to be starting in afc because we are missing players like bala we're missing quite a few uh new players who have been called into camp now so i we could see a little bit of a change but in terms of players who have the right kind of experience then majority of the squad will be from the team that has been playing these friendlies because okay. the point of playing these friendlies is to get them acquainted into playing with high pressure teams so that they can right. take on 
uh, better opponents in the AFC, right? So, um, I we can definitely look forward to some changes, but uh, I don't see uh, a, a drastic change in the team as such. And Akshay, from what you've watched in the friendlies, how well has the team gelled together? Because you, we've already spoken about how the camps have not been that often or haven't been the greatest use, uh, but... How well has the team gelled? How well are they playing together? Because that's all important come January. Yeah, like I said, you know, attack-wise, we we've looked really solid. The the players have been uh, you know playing really well on the wings. We we've had some really nice game through the wings and even through the center. So I, I think uh, attack-wise, we are at a really good position. And de- defensive-wise, we just need to get better. Is what I feel. Attack-wise, I think we are sorted. We we need not worry that we won't score. Uh, we definitely are scoring. We just need to make sure that we don't concede too many. All right. And let's talk about this. So, uh, we spoke about the World Cup and there are talks obviously going around now that they want to hold the World Cup every two years, which gives, I suppose, more opportunity. Also, the fact that they're going to expand. But also, what I mean, what, when I say opportunity is like, because there will be more qualifiers, which means then India will have to have more international camps and you'll have these teams prepare a lot more frequently. Uh, so, how, like, I just want to get your thoughts on that. So, are you, would you think that the World Cup being every two years would be a good thing for Indian football? I'm not saying in football in general, because that would be a topic. Topic, a separate topic. topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah separate exactly. <laughs> that Because that we'll have to have men's and women's football because that's going to be World Cup for both every two years. But for Indian Indian women's football to have the World Cup every two years, which means having more qualifiers and more more camps, na- national camps uh, more f- frequently, uh, is would that bode well for Indian football? Or do you think that there's a bigger problem in the sense that if they don't get the IWL correctly... There's no point even thinking about the national camps, Mithla. Yeah, I don't agree with the concept of a World Cup every two years. Not just, I mean, not just for the world football, like global football in itself, but even for India, that's not the solution to anything. Because it's just because there's a World Cup every two years doesn't mean that our, our primary foundational structure changes in any way. If that does. Make the ch- make the change in terms of how our league system is run and how let's say for the like how for the men we have the ISL I league I league second division and each state league has its own super division, right? So for the women right now we have super divisions across uh, most of the states. I mean not even most. Like, I think few states have a proper league. The others just get away with leagues for five to six teams max. Uh, uh, but on top of that, we just have a direct IWL which itself is a tournament. It's not even a league. You can't mm-hmm. call that a league. Right. Because it happens for about three weeks to a, uh, a month. I feel like this is coming back to one of the first yeah. tournaments I've ever yeah. had. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, I think if you're not going to improve on that structure, it doesn't matter how many global competitions are there. You're going to be stuck with the same squad. What are you going to do when the current mm-hmm. squad graduates or if most of these guys retire? Right? So, to have that constant pipeline of players the best way to go about it is to have a domestic structure which will and which will lead to more academies being formed. And if there are more academies being formed and if a professional structure gets established in the first place, you have something to look forward to. You have something to look up to in terms of where the players are even going to come from, right? So I don't think a global competition is the solution for this. Sure. 100% I agree to what Mithila just said that the domestic structure is very important. The, having a World Cup every two years is not the solution for qualification or for playing more games. Unless we have a domestic structure and more players coming up, I, do, I don't think uh, it makes sense for us to even play the qualifiers every two years. 